<laughs> Alright, now we're finally at the neutrals. So the first card we're starting off is Arcane Anomaly. One mana, two one, whenever you cast a spell, give this minion plus one health. This card is bad. I think it's bad. It's oh. Mana Worm, that's you... bad. It's just a bad <laughs> Mana Worm. Yep. I, it, actually, I actually tried out this card. Gaining one health is not it, great. It, it's not great, but I just like to use it for the early game. I, I did try it out. I've, seen, it I've early seen people play this card. It's yeah. done some work. Yeah, it does some work. It is a one drop, but there's a babbling book. <laughs> there is there is a babbling book. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> this is no, just no, a no, bad no, no, card. no, 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 like this card, I do, you, I, I do... Eh. Can, I, yeah. I, I did do some testing, like between Argent Squire and this card, which one would you play? It's definitely a temple. But you don't yeah. want to run Argent Squire and yeah. Temple Mage. It's, it's definitely just, a yeah. temple temple card. No, no, I didn't run it in Temple Mage. I ran it in Rogue. It's a one drop. <laughs> Rogue. Oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Makes, that makes sense. Yeah, backstab and yeah, yeah backstab yeah. and then yeah, 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 and you prep and then you do some crazy prep. stuff. But then the thing is, like gaining one health on a two attack mean is not snowballing. Yeah, it, it becomes yeah. like a two seven. And if you top back this late game, it's absolutely garbage. Yeah. So yeah, I don't. So I think it's a bad card. It's a bad card. Yeah. Bad card. I say it's interesting. Interesting, yeah. I, I think it's, it's interesting, interesting in the sense that it, it, it's yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it looks cool. It looks cool. It's like, like, cool. like, look at that yeah. card. It looks cool. It has a cool name. Yeah. It has a cool it, picture. It, it looks like Nocturne from League of Legends. Yeah, it does look like Nocturne. Yeah. Yeah. If you love Nocturne, you love this card. Yeah. All right, except it's bad, so you're gonna lose games. <laughs> All right, so the next card we're gonna be talking about is Arcano Smith, which is a uh, four mana three two, and it's a battle, which seems terrible, but it's battle cry. Summon a zero five minion with taunt. And so, the first thing that screams out to me is Bolster, Bolster Warrior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I ran this in my Bolster deck, too. I've seen it in yeah. Bolster Warrior. I do not like it in Bolster Warrior. I think it might be good in Reno Walk. Because it, it sort of provides Ooh, you, interesting. Like, yeah, sustain. Interesting. Yeah. And, like, yeah. I think the best comparison is the uh, the Tauren, the Infested Tauren. But this, the Infested Tauren doesn't have... This, this thing doesn't have Death Rattle. No, but the it, reason it, provides, it provides some kind of some kind of four-drop taunt that... that Sticks around. The reason why people ran Infested Torn wasn't because it was a fort. It was taunt. because it was of Nazoth. They ran it yeah, because of Nazoth, and they rattle. needed some sort of taunt yeah. to, to yeah. come out of Nazoth. Yeah. Yeah. So they have they were they were pigeonholed into running such a shitty card. Yeah. This is Ooh. on the other hand does not have that like synergy. It just it's just a battle card. So but it might be really good with Bran or something. But, you can um, you can compare this card actually to Senjin. Yeah, but Senjin Shield Master has something like it's it's a three five. They're taunt. both they're both good in their own respects. I don't I just don't like don't respect this card. It, it only sees I don't know I only see. Seeing use in, in bolster. specifically yeah. bolster yes, warrior, yeah, it is. and even then, it's not that crazy. Like, so would you run this? You would run Sentient Shield Master over this, hundred percent. No, not necessarily, actually, because splitting it into two bodies is actually relevant. Well, no, having a three two and a two six is like better. The, the problem I, is this: you can remove Arcano Smith with, say, like a slam or like a yeah, but bolt. yeah, but then that yeah, in those situations, it's it's worse. But then uh, in other situations, it's way better because you're protecting your other bodies. You're you're creating a new minion that synergizes with bolster. And then that two six minion, like you're basically getting the um, uh, the, uh, the the four mana two six taunt minion for warrior. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah that butthoof yeah butthoof brave yeah, yeah that brave. yeah that car you're yeah. basically getting that card with bolster and it's splitting it into two minions is really good. It gives you more flexibility. It makes it less uh, like, uh, vulnerable to hard removal. Yeah. So yeah, I, I give you I give you a little little food for thought. I think like, it's better than Zenin. No, no, I give you food for thought. There's actually another class that you can actually go to, shaman? which is shaman with shaman. flame tongue totem. No, right? no, not with only flame tongue totem, but with bloodlust. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You like those minion like that zero five taunt. It sticks long enough where you can actually use bloodlust. It's interesting, yeah. but there are better four drops. Yeah, there, there, the there is better for four drops, because, but, yeah, but it can cards. fit into the shaman deck. Like it can fit. There's too many good cards in the shaman mm -hmm. for this to be run. True. So, yeah. That's true. It's okay. Yeah. It might see use if ever taunt it's, warrior ever does okay. a thing. However, it's in general a bad card. Yeah. yeah. Bad, really bad in arena, in my opinion. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. the four mana three two. All right, so the next one we're talking about is going to be the uh, five mana four for Menagerie Warden, Ma Menagerie Magician, and it has Battle Cry, give a random friendly beast, dragon, and Murloc plus two plus two. Now the effect in itself, like in a vacuum, is crazy. If you actually have beast, uh, even just a single beast, a single dragon, or a single mm -hmm. Murloc, if you have two or three, it, this card becomes insane. Right. Problem is, you are you going to be running all those cards in one deck just so that you can synergize off of these menagerie these, these menagerie decks like the uh, it's like the other card which the zoo bot the zoo bot yeah the yeah, zoo yeah, type zoo effects you also yeah. have the curator as well yeah and, and the curator the here yeah. it's definitely a build around kind of card I want to see it seeing use in like a card like a deck like Reno Lock where you're going to be running a bunch of like tech cards like you're going to be running like the uh, six mana two three Murloc that does two damage to all minions mm -hmm. and then you have the uh, you're going to be running like Kodo and you're going to be running like the the the, the, the like bookworm Twilight Drake uh, or Twilight something. Drake yeah so that's where we th that's where this card sees the most play but would you want to play this card I would run else? the curator but not this because 
the curator draws you those cards. This yeah. just simply buffs them. Yeah. So this is more of an aggressive card. So it has card to be an anything. aggressive card that yeah, also runs card. those three cards. And for all those synergies to come together and mesh well, I just don't see it like, happening. It's a little janky, but I can kind of see people the like, effect like, is, trying to play with this. Yeah, the effect is strong enough that it like encourages people to play with it. If it was plus one, plus one, obviously no one would play it. But, but if it's plus two, plus two, that effect is really, really strong. Yeah. And mm -hmm. if you have two of those minions active and it goes off, it's really, really good. It's like a quarter master, but it has 4-4 four, four stats, and it's super janky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, yeah, but to see, in those Reno Lock decks, or in those, like, uh, one of where you're running a bunch... Decks yeah, we, or whatever. If you're running, no, or those weird control decks where you're running mm -hmm. one of those, like, the, right. the one minion to synergize with the curator, like, you're not gonna want the plus two, plus two buff anyways. Like, it's not yeah. gonna be that impactful anyways. Yeah. yeah. And you have to get it off at the exact right time. And if you want to, in order to get it off at the exact right time, you have to run multiple copies of those cards. That's right. The curator, like, let's say you draw the, um, let's say you draw the six mana two three murloc. Let's say you draw that before you draw the curator. That's fine. You still get to draw your Kono and still get to draw your Twilight Drake. With this, this card, you have to have the card played on the board, living, and have you play this card and have it be good. And in those situations, it's not even that amazing. So I, yep. don't, I don't like this card. You said it quite well. Yeah, yeah you said it quite well. Yeah. Yeah, for like aggressive kind of effect, it's kind of slow. This is not a control yeah. card. Yeah. This is definitely an aggressive card. Yeah, and this I can see it in sick. like crazy aggressive decks yeah, that run cold light oracles. Maybe yeah. they, the, like, yeah, the, like charge the, like the only classes I can actually see this actually working is probably paladin and um, warlock. Yeah. The thing is, this yeah. would be interesting if it was a murloc only card and it was like a quarter master for murlocs. Yeah, then yeah. it would be interesting. All the murlocs. Buff through all your murlocs permanently by plus two plus yeah. two. Then this card would be interesting. But you gotta yeah. run dragons and beasts. Yeah, too, so, yeah. So I don't like it. Well, actually, you know that new, uh, the Paladin card? The, that one that, the muster for dragons? The muster for dragons. Are the Welps dragons, though? Yeah, they are. Yeah, those dragons. The Welps, Welps. are dragons. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So you can kind of work in kind of some kind of tempo-aggressive Paladin. But you run beasts and where are, you, where are your beasts and You had the Valofin Inquisitor yeah. for their Merlock. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Valofin. Yeah. Bio, yeah. Wow. yeah, and then you run a Dire Wolf Dire Wolf Alpha. Alpha. It's essentially you like run aggressive dragons. deck. This goes in the Paladin yeah. deck. Yeah, it's essentially yeah. an aggressive deck. It could see play. Yeah, yeah, it like, could see play, but I don't. Yeah. I don't. I just don't. I don't see it seeing play. No, 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 I don't see this specific five drop being played. But the, um, the other Zubot. card, Zubot, might see play. Yes, it's because it's faster. It's cheap enough. Yeah, it's cheap enough. It's faster. So, and if you get too often, it's pretty good. Yeah, oh, yeah. exactly. It's like a shadow. It's like pre-nerf shadows on exactly. the buffs. That's even better. But Absolutely. it requires you to put bad cards in your deck. Well, they could be good in conjunction because yeah, of these yeah, cards. Yeah, yeah. Now it's insane. Yeah, but this. I don't think this card will see play. Yeah. Right, moving on, we have. Nether Spite Historian, which is a 2-mana 1-3, and the battle cry is, if you're holding a dragon, discover a dragon. And this... I love this card. Yeah, same. Yeah. It, I, these cards are the most healthy for the game in the sense that they provide... It, it, it buffs control decks for obvious mm -hmm. reasons. Oh, yeah. And not only that, it gives them some way to deal with their, like, uh, other aggressive decks early game that isn't overpowered. Because of its stats. It yeah. has 3 health. As yeah. opposed to like one health for the novice engineer, and it's or two not, health for the curator. And it's super good against control decks because you can pick the late game dragon, you can pick Ysera, you can pick Nefarian. Yes. Yeah, and it's not that bad against aggressive decks. And the pool of dragons is so limited that the chance of getting it's a so good consistent. dragon. Yeah, and you can pick Chilma. Chilma is crazy with this like, against aggressive. Decks. Oh man, yeah, if you're ready yeah. to Zoth, you get two Chilma. Yeah, there. it's just nuts. I really like this card. Brand Bronze Spirit. Any dragon deck, any control style. Very dragon, good point. Yeah. No, this this yeah, 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 is a brand. Brand project. is already a popular card in dragon yeah. decks because of the battle cry synergies. Yeah. This makes it even better. Ooh. So in any sort of dragon control deck, this would definitely see play. And the, why even make dragon but, priest good? What if, no, that's <laughs> the thing. See, <laughs> dragon priest is a tempo based deck. Yeah. This is not yeah, it's anti, that strong yeah. of a tempo yeah, card. It's but yeah, it's not gonna, yeah. it could be in a, in a, a more, slower. It, Dragon yeah. Priest. It might be used yeah, as a, it actually yeah, might be used as a one off in the aggressive decks just to refuel, and it's not that bad. Not it's better than missing your two drop. Yeah, true, yeah. true. And true. you gotta view it as a loot hoarder in a it's way. It's sort of the babbling yeah. book argument you're making early, except that this slightly has better stats, and you get to discover the the, the dragon. Yeah, and you can, and so you can cater it. To, you can cater it to your archetypes for like whatever class you're facing. If you're facing an aggressive deck, you can pick a better dragon for that. You can pick picking a control deck. You can play. You can pick a Sarah and a Farian. So this has way more options, more versatility, and has better stat line. Mm -hmm. So I, like I said, I really like this card. And it's def It's gonna be the two drop that uh, Dragon Paladin needed. The, the, the monster curve is definitely gonna be this into the Master for Dragons into the Twilight Guardian into the yeah. Black and Corrupt. What if it's a knife jug? It actually has a curve now. It, can it actually has a it curve. Has, it can have a disgusting curve. Yeah, it has. A, it could have a disgusting curve. So yeah. Definitely Next a good, level card. good card. Yep. Good card. We like this card. We all yeah, agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love card. this card. Yeah. 
Bad card. Patrick Bad card. <laughs> Patrick Spider. Three mana, one three. Battlecry summon a one three spider. The upside is their beasts. The downside is their stats. Yeah, their stats. You're yep. not going to contest anything with this card. Even though you're summoning two one threes. No, it doesn't you know, even synergize yeah. with, uh, say, um, Steward of Darkshire. Yeah, this card of... is crazy in wild. <laughs> With Hobgoblin. Yeah, with Hobgoblin. Yeah, with sure, Hobgoblin. sure. Yeah, 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 right, right. I forgot. <laughs> this... <laughs> I forgot that that card actually yeah. existed. Yeah, uh, yeah, I agree with oh, that. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It's but not... It was, it's, not no, even, it's not even no, no, better no, 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 than no. Imp Master. No, no, it's not because the battle cry doesn't work with the No, Hobgoblin. no, 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 but the first stage still works. No, no. Oh, this so you're saying you have three, five... Oh, never mind. No, 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 no. This is not a, This is not good because it's not, like, you're, it's not giving you a zero mana, one, three that you can play immediately. So then... Hobgoblin only actually works with cards that you play. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So this doesn't copy over. This just summons another yeah, summons three, it, yeah. one three pantry yeah. spider. So it's actually worse than the um the slime. Yeah, uh, it is. The, the would you would, would you it. play this over the uh what do you call that the three the Razor Fan Hunter? Yeah, well Razor Fan Hunter yeah, is yeah. just a bad card. Yeah. But yeah. it's still it's still in arena. It's kind of like a decent three drop. Uh, in arena, this is actually not too bad. Because it's a 3 mana 1 3. Yeah. And you have two hobbies, so you, can, you have two power to contest. 3 mana yeah, 1 3s yeah. are not good. They're not good, but you got two of them. Yeah, that's yeah, the thing. Yeah. It's a 2 mana. So that's it's a 3 mana 2 6. Would you rather have a 2 4? And you have the flexibility. A single 2 4 is better than 2 1 3. Yeah, of course. So. Oh, not of course. Because there are situations where yes, 3 mana of course. Are better. But the 3 mana 1 3s give you more flexibility to deal the 1 damage where you need to deal the 1 damage. Yeah. Say against yeah. a mustard for battle. Yeah, so this is this is like the mustard for battle counter. Why, <laughs> why wasn't this in GVG? That's the real question. So I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't like this card. It's for a while. I don't like this card either, but hey, whatever. It might it might see see play, not really. In Reno, it is a beast too. Reno so. Hunter, Reno Hunter, beast true. Watch out for this in Reno Hunter. Reno Hunter. Beast true. All right, so the oh. next card is uh, two mana three two pompous thespian, and it just has taunt. Bad card. Bad card. You, you yeah. know, you know. Bad card. Yeah, There's nothing is, else to it say is, about it. It is. It's, it's just a power creep of the uh, frost wolf. Power so, yeah. creep. Yeah, it, yeah it, frost wolf. It's like, not even as run. good as the warrior one, the uh, sparring partner. Well, oh, that gives just, it to someone else. Yeah. This is just not not creative. I don't know yeah. why they made this card. This is just it's just an arena card. It's not a bad arena card. Yeah, it's and not bad. And arena, it's terrible right? in construction. Yeah. Simple as that. All right. Now not a create. Not a creative card. Bolster. Runic egg. Runic egg. Somewhat creative. I don't like this card. I don't like this card. It sucks. Yeah. It's a lot worse than the uh, dragon egg. Yeah. Because it, it doesn't it dra drawing a card when it dies is a lot worse than every time it takes damage give you a two one. Mm -hmm. So this standardizes a lot, a lot worse with buffs. I don't like this card. Mm -hmm. This is this is not going in uh, control decks. Either. And it doesn't. And it. And drawing cards is good, but not when it's a one mana zero two. And it's not a dragon. So. Yeah, it's not a dragon. Is dragon egg a dragon? It, the no, dragon no, 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 no. Dragon egg is not a dragon, but the are the whelps uh, dragons. Whelps are dragons. I guess the the whelps being dragons aren't really relevant. Yeah, it's not relevant. But kind them, of based with Zubot. But them, but them, does, yeah, exactly. But then them not being dragons is even worse. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, so this card is just bad. Not good. Bad. I don't like it. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, this this card's not that bad in Zoo. No, it's pretty bad in Zoo. Yeah. Because Zoo, you need minions, and you have a life. You rather already. have an Argent Squire. Yeah. yeah. People are like, oh, Rooney Egg is so good with the Buzo Sergeant. I'm like, so is Argent Squire, and so is the, the. So is Dragon Egg. Yeah. So is Dragon Egg. There you go. Yeah. All right. So yeah, bad card. Bad, bad card. card. Bad, bad card. card. Yeah. Violent Illusionist. This is the card. This is the Fool's Bane card. Three mana, yeah. four three. During your turn, your hero is immune. This card is. I it has a really crazy effect, but I wouldn't I say it's insane. No, it has the effect is super good and super unique. The problem is you don't want to run a three mana four three in that type of deck. You, know, yeah. you don't want to run a three mana four three in a control warrior. It's not heavy enough. It doesn't provide enough individual value. It and dies the turn after, and it has a very niche specific use, and that use might it, like the benefit that you gauge out of it in the best scenario possible. First of all, the best scenario possible where you're hitting four minions on the same turn while you're playing this is very low, and even in that situation is not that crazy, and it doesn't really warrant you running a 3-mana 4-3 in your deck. Mm -hmm. So, I don't like this card. I, I personally do like this card, just because I do play Rogue a lot. Rogue, yeah. Rogue Yeah, yeah, because Rogue, Rogue, yeah, 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 Rogue does not have sustain anymore, and they take a lot of damage just from the weapon itself. Like, we lost Healbot, and we don't even run Farseer anymore, but this might actually change it a little bit, but who knows. It's but, still just yeah. a 3-mana 4-3, and the, the 3 slots are already clogged in Rogue. I actually, yeah. I, I've actually lost even, like, when I first saw this card, I, I thought it was, like, okay, and then when I looked at it, it's during your turn. It's not It's not permanent. It's not, like, no. Malganus effect. It's terrible. You can't even yeah. stealth it and expect to live through the next turn if you're dying. Yeah, I don't like it. Feels bad, man. Uh, so at least it's not battle cry for the turn that you play it. It's during mm -hmm. your turn for every turn thereafter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just for negating weapon damage. 
And if you and fatigue damage, and, and fatigue <laughs> damage, and and but then, like I said, in those sorts of decks where you're trying to get the fatigue, where you're trying to save life from your uh, from like using weapons on minions, you know, you don't want to play a three mana four three. Except yeah. maybe in Rogue, and even in, Rogue is just a. It, it's already been established that it's not a good tempo deck. You have to run some sort of miracle combo. Yeah. So yeah, not a very good card. What does he play in Reno Lock where you tap a lot? You're only going to be tapping once, and most if this is a three mana four three restore two health to only your hero if you can tap, which is bad. Not that good. Yeah, yeah. true. Maybe it'll see used with Cho'Gall. You can play this. Oh yeah, it does. Maybe yeah. you can do Cho'Gall, Cho'Gall while an illusionist, synergy. and then you turn, can play turn ten play, <laughs> and then you can play you can play some ridiculous spell. Yeah, you play Doom and not take any damage. Yeah, yeah, and then spend cards. your entire turn doing just Jackal. Yeah. yeah, Jackal. <laughs> bad card. Jackal. Moving on, we then we have Menagerie Magician Junior, which is Zubot, 3 mana, 3-3. Three, three. Give a random friendly beast, dragon, and uh, murloc, plus 1, plus 1. And it's a mech. And it's a mech. Damn. Ooh. Which is not very relevant. Yeah, it's not relevant, because we don't have any mechs anymore. Yeah. Unless you want to play Gorilla. This is good in a specific deck, but someone will have to find the right build. For I think it belongs to that Paladin deck we yeah, mentioned Yeah, Paladin earlier. deck. Potentially Zoo as well. Yeah, but Zoo yeah. doesn't have the synergies that allow for, say, like, that Murloc. Uh, if you think about Murloc the, cards Did, did, did you dragons. remember how good Zoo, Mur- like, uh, Warlock, 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 Warlock was yeah. great, but yeah. that was when uh, Blood Imp was insane. Oh, wait, that, that's also because um, Murkai was insane, too. Yes. But, but that's gone. If you think about yeah. the uh, the beasts that you can play, what are the beasts that you can play in? Dire Wolf Alpha. There's only Dire Wolf Alpha, really. And yeah. then how about the dragons? There's not much. There's, just, there's, there's the whelps from True. Dragon Egg. True. Right? And then there's the Murloc, which is the Colite Oracle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so pretty much really it. And the Biofin ju- Titan. Really yeah, just Biofin, yeah. as Paladin as... with that new 3-drop the summons the 2-1-1. We walks. have to see, and I'm still not even sure if the Whelps are Dragons. They are. They are. They are. Yeah. For sure? They, they, they Whelps yeah, specifically they re- respond, uh, I mean, refers to Dragons. Okay. Okay, so if the Whelps are Dragons, then yeah, this could see play, but I don't... I don't know. I, well, it, you can just ignore the dragons completely and just let it hit beasts and murlocs. Yeah, even when yeah, even I guess even in an aggressive deck, when you hit beasts and murlocs in an aggressive deck, it's pretty good. Three right? mana, four four. Why not? Three yeah. mana, five five, and t- plus two plus two of the murder. It's like shattered sun cleric, like, except it's like plus one health. It's a mech, and it buffs two things. Yeah, mm-hmm. up to three things. Mm-hmm. So this could be absolutely insane. In in, in that decks. really tacked out aggressive deck that has specifically those like direwolf alpha, the murloc, uh, the dragon, the whelp generators, and the uh, colite oracle. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you could run some sort of like divine favor colloid oracle deck. And, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Along with the Valfins, and yeah. then you have a hero power. That yeah, and you have a lot of cheap minions, and you have you buff them up. Actually, yeah, I sort of like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty good. It's cheap I, I like how to be it, used, I yeah. like its uh, effectiveness. I don't like how it's it an forces card. Yeah, it forces you to it forces you to take a really really unique style into deck building. Yeah, but yeah, and it yeah. also but it also pigeons pigeonholes you into playing aggro since it's an aggro card. You're not gonna play this in a no. deck. Yeah. So good in good in Murloc, Beast Dragon, Paladin, Aggro, and not very good in anything else. Who knows? Someone might find something. Someone might. I, I just, might find I just thought of Paladin because they have the yeah, tools yeah. to work with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So okay card, okay card. Yeah. yeah. Okay, card. okay card. Next oh. one. Twelve oh. mana. Oh. Arcane Giant costs one less for each spell you've cast this game, and of course it's an eight eight because it's a giant. I have no clue how to evaluate this card. You don't. I, th- I think it's. I thought. I thought this card is strong. I thought, that, yeah, like, this is what I a think. lot of you said it's strong, but you need to cast so many spells to make uh, it cheap. I know, but um, if you're playing, like, a Yogg and a Mage, what can you lose? Like, you you're, can play this for pretty cheap in the, later in the game. The problem is, this. It, it's sort of like, um, it's sort of like the, It's uh, like Frost well, Giants. No, 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 it's sort of like the, uh, the, the, the totem card for, uh, Shaman. It's the, uh, Thing From Below. I would compare it to yeah. that. Because thing from below. It, okay. It's, yeah. Thing from below is costs one less for each totem you've you, you've played, like you've summoned. Mm-hmm. This and it game. starts at six mana. Yeah, and it starts at six mana. This starts at twelve, and it's eight. eight. It doesn't have taunt. Yeah, it's an okay card, I'd yeah. say. It definitely isn't an aggressive card. Maybe a more mid rangey or control card. It's definitely a control card because mm-hmm. mid range decks won't have enough yeah. spells and won't have enough time to support playing this card. It's okay. It's it's pretty good in uh, control type, in control type decks. The problem is it doesn't really do anything that they're currently. Uh, like, it doesn't really help their weaknesses. You think it might help out rogues? Just another threat? Maybe. Mm, maybe. Uh, I don't think rogues, they generate rogues enough play a lot spells to actually They do, do play a lot of spells. They the, do, they do, but... This is such a bad draw early. That's the thing. It gives you another possibility to draw poorly. That is yeah. true. Yeah. I think the one of the decks that can use this quite effectively is probably Yogg Druid. Yogg so, Druid? Yeah, yeah, for the... They can even intervene Oh, really? Any, just, just any Yogg deck in general. Yeah. Right, so you can place alongside, say, like, spamming the board full of, like, yeah, yeah. throw down an Arcane Giant yeah. as well. This might be a one-up. It's kind of like a Sea Giant for that kind of deck. Yeah. 
This is like a one of in the y'all, dude. Yes, one of, yeah, one of, one of. People would experiment with this first as a one of, and if it turns out to be bad, then they won't play it. And if it yeah, becomes good, good, they can try two copies. And it. then the deck might start building oh, towards that specific giant. There's the next it, molten it's giant. Yeah, it's the next molten giant. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely not like broken. It's not like that powerful. People so, might even run Sun Fury. Yeah. Like this. Oh. And they go like they go like arcane, arcane oh. Sun Fury. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's... it's like the old Molten Molten Sun Fury. Oh, but that's... except that it doesn't Here's even... Like, in those decks, you would rather run something like Frost Giant. It's, it's like a lot more... Well, see, the thing is, Frost Giant, you can only cast With your hero one powers. of them every turn, and you have the hero power, which is not something mm-hmm. you want to do early, or early to mid-game. And then with this card, with this card, you're, you're con- with, with a deck like Yogg Druid or Yogg Mage, you're going to be con- casting spells every single turn, all the way up until Yogg, or up until you play this. So it's often you're going to play for like three or four mana. True. Especially in the middle late game. And you're going to mm-hmm. play... Stuff like wild growth. Wild growth counts for two mana cost reduction for this. So this is so. Just, if you now, the more I think about it, it's actually really crazy in Yogg, dude. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, especially after crazy in Yogg, basically dude. after turn ten, this thing will cost close to zero mana. But the, yeah, pro- is, the problem is, again is drawing it early. It, it's yeah. not you don't want to draw it early, yeah. but it's crazy yeah. if you draw it later because it's basically yeah. zero mana eight eight that you can tempo it with the rest of your cards. Yeah. And it's good with nourish because yeah. nourish draws your cards and this builds with the uh, this synergizes with your card advantage and allows you to convert your card advantage to tempo absolutely in a really really massive way because it's. it's it, it. Especially if you play two of these. You're talking about drawing cards and slamming them all down. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, yeah. The more I talk about this card, the more I think it's it's good. I'm still not convinced though. It's good I because think it's too, it's too uh, fringy. It's yeah. good because it, it's cost one less spell for each spell you've cast this game, not each spell that you've cast it's like since you've drawn the card. Mm-hmm. So that's what that's what makes it better. Is because like once you draw it, it will be zero mana in the late game for sure. And the so the moment you did and and eight eight. Like, the stat line, like, the, the zero mana 8-8 eight, eight stat line is such a ridiculous board swing. Oh, yeah. That just that by itself would justify That's it. why they nerfed the Molten Giant. Yeah, which is, yeah, yeah. which is why, so this might actually be... This is be the same. Molten Giant. For the Yogg next one, yeah. yeah. Except it doesn't even require them to damage you. They can't even play around it. Yeah. You, it's just you... You feel even better. It's up better. to you casting spells. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. even yeah. better. Yeah. I like this card.